Welcome to another episode of Point of Care Ultrasound Education on the Pocus Club channel. Thank you for tuning in. Over this series, I have a special guest joining me in our mission to teach point of care ultrasound to clinicians who look after patients and would like to use the best possible bedside tool to help diagnose and treat their patients. Dr. Peter Weimersheimer is joining us. For these few episodes, Peter has worked as an emergency physician looking after the people of Vermont and has recently joined Butterfly as the Vice President of Clinical Integration. Peter was one of my supervisors on the Ultrasound Leadership Academy Fellowship, and I consider him one of my mentors and a friend. Today, we are going to remotely teach the Royal College of Surgeons of Ireland, um, Sono Games team, how to do the eFAST exam. We are going to do this entirely remotely. Peter is casting in from the wilds of Vermont, and I am in my kitchen. This will be split into episodes for each of the locations that you will scan in an eFAST exam. The right upper quadrant, the pelvis, the left upper quadrant, and the sub xiphoid area. The lung component I have already covered in previous episodes, and you can watch them over here. If you are interested in teaching remotely, observe the language that we use to describe probe movements. This is especially so even if you are teaching at a live course maximize the amount of probe time for your learners. I hope that you will be able to use this both to troubleshoot your own images and when teaching your colleagues the eFAST examination. For the pelvic view, um, is the probe positioned towards the head first? Uh, yeah, you can do it towards the head first, uh, and then after that you can do it as a, um, how would you say, as a... Um, uh, transverse view. Okay. So you need to actually go a little bit lower, I would suspect. Sorry, Greg. Oh, probably need to go just that little bit lower. Uh, unfortunately, it has to be uncomfortable for you and the model. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, because what you're seeing here is actually just bowel. There you go. So that's the, oh, so the seeing bladder over yeah, there. you're seeing bladder and the kind of the right side of the screen over here. Okay. Yeah. So that's bladder there. Very great. And that's the peritoneum. Okay. okay. So, and then again, you can fan through that. Okay. So you're going to, you're going to tilt the probe. Uh, you're going to tilt the probe back and forth like that. Okay. Uh, to clear this, uh, to clear this organ. Okay. And then you can do it in a in a kind of a transverse view as well. Okay. There we go. Yep, that's it. What's this structure here? Um, and we said, isn't that prostate? Excellent, excellent. Yeah. And that's the bladder. Okay. Yep. Perfect. So you cleared you've cleared the pelvis now. So okay. Um, and, and, uh, you, you know, if, uh, for the Sono games, I suspect that you should demonstrate that you're actually clearing it and you can say that you're clearing it by actually fa okay. uh, uh, tilting the, the probe, okay, uh, so you know, through clearing the pelvic. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. So, so whichever, whichever space that you're clearing, you just, you know, you say that I'm tilting. Note that it's cleared. Yeah. To make sure that there's no free fluid in all areas of that particular zone. Perfect. Right. So. Okay. Bladder. So, bladder scan, so you can either do, what is it, longitudinal or transverse? Yeah. That's correct. And I think the standard is most people will go start with a transverse, again, dot towards the patient's right. Okay. Uh, oh, oh, to the right. This might be running out of battery. Uh, yeah, so where is the damn bladder? <laughs> yeah, there okay. you go. So Right, so uh, this is something that's really important, especially for men. You see this thing here? Is that yeah. fluid? What is, is that free um, fluid? That's seminal vesicle. Absolutely. So really important to remember that in men, you will see this area of hypoechoic area. It's it's well circumscribed, but that gets called as a false positive all the time. Also, you see how your hand is kind of at a diagonal? Yeah. Right? Slide down, take your hand and slide this way until you're bumping into symphysis pubis, vertical. Okay. Oh, like... Up, like, like that and slide down low uh, just keep on sliding down until it stops on bone 
and then uh, fan see the difference uh, yeah. now. so one thing that's really important now what, what i'd like you to so that's cool that's a beautiful view there's bladder there's no fluid yeah. here no fluid here there's seminal vesicles but nothing else i want you to rotate so your dots towards your head let's do a sagittal i think it's really important for trauma to okay. do sagittal views and i'll tell you why in a second awesome so what's important and let's uh, gonna look can i freeze this i can't freeze this okay um what's really important here this is all intra-abdominal and it's yeah. all full of bowel gas there's your bladder right. this oh, is all retroperitoneal so what oh. happens in a transverse view if you have your transducer up here and you're angling in like this Mm -hmm. You get you get a false negative because you're not even see you're going through the bladder to the retroperitoneal space and you're missing any yeah. chance of seeing actually free fluid in the belly. So I really yeah. like in trauma when I'm doing a trauma view, I like that sagittal view because I can tell myself by orientation, this is all potential space for fluid. It's all full of bowel gas. Yeah. That's fine. This is all <laughs> retroperitoneal, but this is where I'm looking for blood. And okay. so that, I think that it, a lot of times when people do transverse views. They don't have the tra they have the transistor here. They don't have it down by symphysis pubis. They're doing a shot okay. like this where they're getting a false we, negative. Uh, okay. So we're just a reminder when all of you are actually using this in practice to get that sagittal shot and convince yourself that you're seeing true abdo intra abdominal space, bladder, mm -hmm. and then retroperitoneal space down here. Oh, cool. That's great. That's a really nice shot. Cool. So you did it. Greg's cool. gonna yeah. live. Greg, you're not dead. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> All right. Uh, I, I personally would do it in the longitudinal plane first, and then after uh -huh. that, just uh, go to the just that really quick look with the um, transverse view. You may need to go a little bit low here, okay? Yeah, yeah there you this go. That's the, yeah, perfect. Excellent. Bladder. Mm -hmm. Okay. What's this here? Is that free fluid? No, is that the peri uh, peritoneum space? Uh, no, it's uh, the prostate. Prostate. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, and then uh, so so you're gonna have to you're gonna have to uh, fan the probe, or tilt the probe, okay, to clear that space. Okay, so you don't okay. don't really see any free fluid. Yeah. And free fluid for for males anyway tends to kind of like hang out over here. Uh, okay. okay. Good okay. job. Okay. All right. You want to do it in the uh, transverse view, and then we just make sure that uh, Thomas has no free fluid whatsoever. Okay, there you go. <laughs> what are these structures here? Mm, is it the of these so, so anterior? Mm, no. I'm not sure to be honest. Uh, so if we just put some color over it, oh, uh, one second. Uh, are they are vessels? They, yeah, I suspect they are vessels. You can take the color box and put it over it. Mm, yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah, I, I suspect this. Uh, yeah. it, it's uh, uh, you're in the transverse <laughs> view, aren't you? Uh, yeah, yeah, transverse. Yeah, so I suspect that's probably his uh, yeah. left, probably his left-sided uh, vessels, left-sided iliac and. Yeah. Excellent. Good job. Yeah. I just turn off this color Doppler. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> okay. Good job. And Excellent. Do I find like up and down? Mm -hmm. like you do. Yes. Okay. Uh, so you're kind of like getting a 3D impression of a, uh, well, you're getting a 3D impression uh, because you're only yeah. using a 2D image really to view this. Yeah. Okay, excellent, good job. All right. Then move to the right upper quadrant? Uh, left upper quadrant.